Welcome. I am going to show you exactly how I pin up my hair with my pin curls. I've already filmed myself for an entire week doing my hair in pin curls and just the results of everything. So I just thought that I would start with showing you how I put them up and then at the end you will get to see what this look finally looks like. So make sure you stay till the end. The story behind me doing pin curls is that my Grammy always told me I should try doing pin curls. I tried some things that she told me to do the way that I set her hair. I tried it for maybe a couple of hours every time that I did it and I've even showed you know, myself doing them on my channel before I think. Um, but this is an overnight thing. So I never started wearing my hair like this overnight until one week ago and I have just been so happy with the results I thought that I would share with you how I do them so that maybe this could help some of you who are looking to have more body more life to your hair and just curls that will last all day and not look like those kind of curls that you see with a curling iron these are definitely more vintage style curls my Grammy went to beauty school and getting her hair done doing her hair was something that was always very important to her to have a finished look and that's something that I will always remember about my Grammy and so I'm happy that I have finally tried the way that she told me to do them all along I'm just a bit sad that she didn't get to see me do them so anyway um, what I'm going to be using are these clips right here which I found these at, I believe, Target. Before I start, I just washed my hair. So my hair is freshly washed out of the bath. And um, I have been using this Aussie Headstrong Volume Mousse. So I'm going to use this. This gives me a lot of root boost and it really smells good. Now my hair is very thin. It's already started to dry, it feels like, so it's not soaking wet. I'm gonna put some in the ends, even though I know it's mainly for the roots, but just to get some in there, and then I am going to use this wide tooth comb right here, comb through my hair, I really like to have a part on the right side right here. So that's typically where I like my part to be. And then that offers me a really big um, wave right here in the front. That's my favorite look that I think is what looks best on my face and definitely on that side. So um, figure out where you would like your part to be and then that's kind of how you would um, start sectioning your hair off. So I am going to start with that big wave that I like to have and um, then I just brush it up like so and then I am going to be curling towards my face. So you take two fingers, you can do one finger if you want the curls to be really small and tight, but I like to have a bit bigger of a wave. So I do two fingers, you wrap it around, make sure that the ends are tucked in nicely, and then you put the pin inside of the curl. So what I am doing is I want to have a lot of lift up on, you know, on the top. So I am keeping that part lifted like like that. And I will try to do a little bit more of a, an up close view. And then I'm going to do this, the rest of the top portion. Now this one, 
I'm going to do towards the back and you want to slide your fingers out and then put a clip in like so. Okay, now um, I believe, like I'm not an expert at pinning hair. This is all just trial and error here and I would encourage you to do the same, but um, I wouldn't put it on top of the curl. Like try to get the pin through one part and leave the top over it. That may not be, you know, how everybody does it, but I'm just trying to figure out the best way to get as little kinking as possible. Now I'm going to do these and I slide my fingers out so that the curl can be like so and see how I don't put the pin on top right there but it goes inside and I'll show you what I mean more. Now also too what I've noticed is when you put the pins near either the sides of your head or on the top as much as possible and leave it away from the back then it's easier to sleep on and um, yeah that's just it's it's much more comfortable to sleep that way and um, I I think as you do your hair more you you're going to realize the way that you like to wear your hair for instance I like more volume up in the front of my face on this side and then this side tends to go behind my ear so I can bring those curls back a little bit more it's fine if they are you know to the back more and then I have to work as fast as possible really to um, get my hair pinned before the ends start drying. It's a, it's a race against the clock here. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried pin curls, how they worked out for you, what you like to use to pin your hair. Some people, ooh, some people use bobby pins. If you have gotten bobby pins to work out for you, I would be very interested in hearing that and if you have a certain trick so that um, you don't get like frizzy hair. And just really in general, if you, if you um, pin curl your hair, I would just like to know. And um, anything that you can add to the conversation because like I said, I'm not an expert. I just tried doing what my Grammy showed me how to do and um, near the end of her life she was having me do her hair as often as you know she wanted her hair done I was doing I was setting it for her and um, that also helped me just learn you know the ropes a little bit she never really complained when I did it so I figured I was doing it right plus you know, I've watched a few videos, too. And then you just have to be really careful with those pins, though, because they do, they can catch on your hair. And um, especially when you're taking them out, it can just be one of those things where it pulls your hair and it's a bit annoying. So, yes, like I said, just make sure that you tuck those ends underneath. Sometimes you're not going to be able to avoid putting the whole clip over all of the curl, but I think maybe that also adds to the way that the curl comes out. You know, like if it were to have that um, wave effect where it goes inward into your hair, into your head kind of a thing. You might notice that in some of my pictures. But then also when you're doing the back, make sure that you get everything. I've left a couple of hairs before and 
then you have a a long piece that's not curled and even if you use a curling iron it, it won't come out the way that your other curls are so because there's just something so special about pin curling hair and then the last thing I'm going to do is wrap this glamour hood over my hair like so this is going to be well I should probably show you what this looks like let me show you what this looks like so in the back right there I have I just split this back part down the middle um, and then as you can see here's some curls right there see I tried to stick it through it if possible some of them are not here's the top like that and how I went through it okay but I left some volume up there so anyway I got this glamour hood this is definitely vintage um, and I curl it towards the back and what I'm going to do is just wrap it around the back and then put it up here like so there's this tag that sticks out right there but you know nobody's gonna care while I'm sleeping there and then just tie it like so and then I have my little bow you can tuck that in or not and um, then I'm all ready for bed with my glamour hood and um, this is what creates all of the wonderful waves what I love about this is that I can go to bed um, and then wake up the next day get ready and my hair is already done for the day so as you could see of course I was talking a lot through it and um, just trying to speak through it kind of made things take a lot longer than it would actually take me just to do it and just to you know put my mind towards it and do it so as you can see it doesn't take any time at all the other great thing is that you do it while it's wet and then um, as you sleep it's drying it's curling and then um, I don't take these out until I get home from helping my grandfather out. I go over to his house at 6 in the morning, and then I get back here about 8 o'clock in the morning. And so by that time, every single day for the past week, I've been taking my hair down at that time, brushing it out, and just seeing what kind of waves that I get. And so if you are interested in doing this, I hope that you try it out. But more than that, I hope that you enjoy the rest of this video and just see how my hair turned out every single day. And then, of course, at the end, I will show you how this one turns out and what way I style it. So if you would like to see more videos like this, please leave a comment below and just let me know, give me some ideas of what kind of things you would like to see. Every single time that you do your hair like this, it probably won't turn out, especially in the beginning. I've had a couple of bad hair days, but even in a bad hair day, there's something that you can do and even if nothing else turns out, you will have volume. I'm pretty sure you will have volume to your hair if that's something that, like myself, you suffer from lack of volume. So I hope you enjoy the rest of this video.
I think that I found my way of doing my hair and I should have listened to my Grammy this whole entire time. And I think right now I'm just wishing that I had because she would have loved to see my hair like this. It's a new day. Next day we are going with somewhat of the same look here. I didn't, I did not really change the pattern of how I was curling my hair. Although tonight I'm going to try using bobby pins instead of the clips that I have been. Now the thing that I did differently last night when I set my hair, first I wash it and then I set it. I sprayed all of my hair with this and this is by um, Hair Biology. Um, this, I really like the way that it feels when I put it on. It My hair still feels like you know it can move and whatnot the thing I would say about using this is that it it looks a little bit frizzier today than it did yesterday when I took it down the day before that when I took it down which I don't have a video of that and how my hair looked that day um, it was just very flowy and I really like the way that the hair feels right away after I take it down and brush it out when I don't put any product in it and that just feels the best to me but I know that the hair won't last as long if I don't put something in it so I put this little um, this little clip right here it's a it's a pearl clip that I got from Target and I have it linked in the Shop My Life link, but just, just a little something. I'm going to be going out with my mom today to go vintage shopping and I just, I really like this style, but I'm also going to be trying different styles. It's one of those things like when you curl your hair, you want to get the most out of the curls without, you know, tucking them away. But last night when I was playing around with my hair a little bit after I got home, right before I took a bath, I just wanted to try a different hairstyle and I put it up in the back. I'm going to try to do one of those styles as well. Maybe I'll do that one tomorrow. Um, but it gave me so much more body on top, which is what I've always felt like I lacked. So having curls closer to my face, just waves, I really like just the wave, you know, um, I think suits my face better and just makes everything a lot more soft. And then um, the other thing that I wanted to say was that I would like to get my bangs right here. I would like to get a little bit taken off so that I get more of a swoop over here and not so much of this long hangingness right there and then um, I would also like to get some off the back so that back here it stands up a little bit more than this heaviness that is kind of flattening the back part. Anyway, I'm go going to be going out today with my, with my hair so um, I will see all of you tomorrow. Do you ever ask yourself how many hairstyles have been born out of bad hair days? Anyway, I just tried to stick with still this, you know, wave going on on this side. I kind of took this back a little bit. I tried to bring a little bit more out just to have a little bit of volume here. There's still some separation going on on this side, but we're just going to roll with this. We are not going to obsess over this because it just ends up getting to be a frustrating mess. So I'm going to show you what the back looks like. I just used bobby pins. Okay. Let me turn completely around. There we go. So I think that it still has a very elegant vibe to it. Um, and when, you know, you're having a bad hair day, sometimes it's it just makes sense to put it up and try to make it look like it has some sort of style to it and then everybody will think that's what you meant meant to have done the whole time so um anyway i'm just going to go like this i sometimes i like to put a little accessory in it maybe i will maybe i'll put um this one in it today yeah let's try this one in it and then it's like when you are when you're having a bad hair day usually then the attention will be more on whatever the accessory is than on your hair. So I'm trying to get, I have, I have very thin, very fine hair 
and um, I'm trying to get this between the bobby pins so that the bobby pins can really hold it up. I mean, that thing is way too big for the small amount of hair that I have. So um, hopefully that looks okay. I didn't look at this in the mirror in the back to see. Well, that's just going to have to do. So sometimes having a few hair accessories to just, you know, bring more attention to that than your hair is a good way to go sometimes. So this is what today's look looks like and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Hopefully um, tonight's setting will be less frizzy for tomorrow. So see you tomorrow. I really like the way that using this mousse, which is the um, Headstrong Volume Mousse by Aussie, this really w worked out a lot better than I thought it would. Um, and I went with the pins last night as opposed to the bobby pins. Um, if I use bobby pins again, I will turn the wavy side underneath. Usually I put that side on top, which is probably what contributed to me having the frizz and um, it just not being very smooth. So if I try that again, I will go that route. But you know, the pins that I've been using which I know that's not the correct term for them, but those are um, those are working out for me, and they seem to um, you know keep everything pretty smooth. So I like that. And then the hair biology hairspray, as you could see, I was spraying, and I just like the curl pattern that this offers. In the back, I still need to work on the back a bit. Like you know, I think a lot of it has to do with the cut that I have because. The back tends to lay a lot flatter and um, just the the longer part doesn't connect well to this and it doesn't have you know that nice uh, finish effect to the bottom it kind of gets a bit um, you know I don't want to say stringy but it's just um, it doesn't flow well with the rest of the hair so it doesn't um, connect as well but anyway, today I'm going for more of this, even more vintage. I wouldn't even say that this is a 50s style. It's more, I don't know, 40s or um, I don't want to say 20s, but it just, the curl, you know, it, it lays a bit flatter. And I, I've always curled my hair away from my face, but I think curling it in towards my face is a lot better for me. And um, while it does have that, you know, definite vintage style to it, remember that that's something that I really, really love. Kind of like this dress right here. This is more of an older style dress. Maybe it's 40s. Could be a 40s style. I don't know. But um, I would highly recommend this and this stuff smells so good. So I was very happy with it. On the agenda today is just doing some house cleaning and then I have to get um, some, like some letters written and sent out today. I have a lot of thank you cards to send out and so, oh, and an order, somebody ordered an apron. So I have to send that all out today, but it just feels good to be completely done, ready for the day. And you know, when your hair is done, you just feel like, it doesn't even matter what you're wearing. You just feel like everything, you know, everything looks right anyway. So, um, but to me, I feel, I feel my best when I'm dressed for the day. And to me, it also doesn't take any effort at all just to put on one dress, and of course this video is not about dresses or what we wear but um, it does help whenever you have your hair done to also be dressed and it just really improves your productivity if you ask me so and i think most people can agree with that so um anyway back on to what we're doing what the rest of the day holds i wanted to pop on here really fast just to show you how everything just looks after the day. So as you can see, I still have so much lift in my hair. 
I would not say that I could wear this the next day just because for my hair it gets pretty greasy like I can already feel it getting you know dirty and that dirty feel and and I just I don't go for that okay so I know that people say it's not good to wash your hair so much but I I've always washed my hair every single day so anyway um, I just wanted to show what it looks like at the end of the day I'm still really happy with it I ended up doing this to my hair just because it did kind of start falling flat a bit and when that was happening maybe it was just because the curls just weren't that great on the ends today um, when that starts happening i need to put it back at least the front part needs to go back so um i probably should have done it like this to begin with and i think that it worked out well with the dress that i had on today um, but anyway bath time I'm gonna go wash my hair you know just take a nice relaxing bath and um, I'm almost done with tomorrow's video which is really exciting but anyway just wanted to share what my hair looks like at the end of the day I kind of feel like it looks better at the end of the day today than it did when I started just because I like the style I love doing different styles with my hair you know um, that's the fun part so You'll be seeing a lot of, a lot more styles. Another day, another day of hair done. That always feels good. Um, I felt like this side was a bit frizzier than I would have liked it to be today and the wave pattern wasn't my favorite. Like I just felt there wasn't that much going on over here. On this side, it turned out really great, really easy to do. And um, I always love a good wave, so. All those years of, of having those wave competitions with my brother have really paid off. So I wanted to share a little funny story with you today as I was driving out of, actually I walked out of my grandfather's house and the pool guy was driving into the driveway and all of a sudden I just felt this sense of embarrassment that I'm walking out there with my pins in my hair. And then I started to think about how I'm showing the world myself with my hair pins. And someone has commented on this in the past just because I had spoken about not liking to um, walk out, you know, without being done. And um, yet I was showing myself with my pin curls in my hair and uh, I was showing myself on you know on YouTube and so that's kind of like that is that borderline of do you do it or do you not do it there are certain things that I absolutely won't do there are some things that I'm like eh, I don't know you know I don't really like it per se but it's something that I would be willing to share just to help some people out so um, everybody has to make up those decisions for themselves, but it was just kind of funny. Like I was in that moment of why am I feeling so embarrassed if I'm going to be sharing this with the world? But I don't know. It's just because I don't know. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. It's kind of weird. Some of you wouldn't even ever go even think about going into the world and showing your face on camera with your with your pin curls in. But um, yeah, so it just caused me to stop and think, should I even share myself and my pin curls to the world, to all of you? So I think we're going to say yes, because um, I just think that it would be helpful, especially in this time where so many people, so many women don't um, spend that time doing their hair. They think that it would just take up way too much of their time. I'm, I just want to show you that you can put in that time for yourself and it's okay because, um, you know, you can have you can style your hair without spending a lot of time on it and there's going to be that learning curve right now I am in that learning curve and actually I also wanted to share what I put on my hair let me share what I put on my hair so I shared in my recent lady like living video that my mom and I went out um, antique shopping and one of the things that I found when I was out was this glamour hood which there were two brand new ones and um, it's uh, so it's like a chiffon well it's actually nylon but 
chiffon, I guess you would call it that, um, hood that you would put on. And I, she was like, would you actually wear that out? You know, because I've been wearing my chiffon pink scarf over my hair if it's been windy. And I'm not necessarily, I'm not sure if I would wear this, say, to the um, grocery store or something like that. Maybe I would. I don't know. Let's see. Would I wear this? I mean, women used to wear these things out, right? Some of you probably still do. If you still wear these out, let me know. But you would like wear it like this and it would keep your hair from blowing all over the place. And, uh, you know, put on some sunglasses and your hair is nice and neat whenever you walk into wherever you're going. I've been using this at night for wrapping my, um, like I just do a little wrap like that with my pin curls in and then I wrap it around and put it up like this and tie a little bow and I do that over my um, pin curls. That way I can, um, you know, keep them nice and neat, I guess, when I'm sleeping and my hair doesn't rub up against the pillow and things like that. So. Um, Maybe I would wear this one out. She was asking me if I would wear it out. Um, I told her I would, but I'm using this every single night because I wear it to bed. Anyway, I was thinking I should probably wear this when I go to my grandfather's house so that I can wear it, um, you know, over my pin curls and not take it off at night. But it is something that's to be worn when you go out as well. So finding a nice scarf um, to keep your your um, hair just so how you want it and then taking it off when you get inside if you want i don't know so they were smart those women were smart in the older days you know and in, in the past they knew what they were doing they had the proper tools to do those things that now we look and we think that oh that looks so old-fashioned or something along those lines, but sometimes, you know, you just, it's timeless, right? Those things are timeless. You may look old fashioned to some people, but to others, they'll look at you and say, she knows exactly what she's doing and why she's doing it. So invest in a glamour hood. I don't, I don't know if they still sell these, but you can probably find one at a at an antique shop, this one cost me $15. I probably could have gotten the same thing somewhere else, you know, with a scarf or something, but there was just something so, so unique about this and that I enjoyed. So thank you, mom, for my glamour hood. All of you should invest in a glamour hood if you're going to be having a beautiful hairstyle that you're going to do every day. All right, on to tomorrow. Now it's time to just see how this hairstyle turned out from the beginning of the video after you saw my little how to pin curl your hair. So after brushing and brushing, this is like the way that the hair has kind of come out. Um, and I wanted to just do something really fun for the last day of this video. So um, I am going to do a sum up, sum down. I wanted to do like an exaggerated wave where it's swooping and curling back and um, I just really love this look. Today I think I'm going to go with this little this little claw clip right here to secure it. I just feel that it offers me more movement. Um, you know, I can um, just play around with it more. So this will be really fun to do. Oh yeah, we're getting a lot of wave action going on here. Definitely more of... <sighs> more of a vintage style. Today I had a little bit of frizz, a little more frizz than I would like to have. I may need to tone this down a bit. I'll, I'll notice that after, um, after I kind of complete the hair off. Oh my 
goodness, this wave is a bit crazy. There, make sure that it's nice and neat. No flyaways, just beautiful wave. So there you have it, a week's worth of hairstyles. I really enjoyed this uh, fun one that I got to do at the end here, but all of them have been so fun. I just really enjoy doing my hair now, I see, and it made such a difference to finally figure out a routine for myself and what just works well with my lifestyle. So I hope if anything this inspired you to do your hair but also try something new and um, don't be afraid to embrace the kind of hair that you have. So with that I'm going to leave you here. Thank you so much for being here. Let me know which hairstyle was your favorite and I will see all of you next week. Bye everyone.